Earlier today, Congress passed three amendments prohibiting the DEA and U.S. Justice Department from interfering with state cannabis laws. The amendments were part of the 2016 Commerce, Justice, and Science Appropriations Bill, a bipartisan amendment to protect state medical cannabis laws passed 242 to 186. A second amendment that protects states that allow patients access to CBD oils passed 297 to 130. A third amendment protects state laws allowing industrial hemp the vote count was 282 to 146. Finally, a fourth amendment to protect legal recreational cannabis laws failed to pass with a vote of 206 to 222. Furthermore, three other amendments cutting the DEA budget passed yesterday. The first shifts about $9 million from the DEA's unsuccessful cannabis reduction and eradication program to a youth-oriented program, the Victims of Child Abuse Act and Deficit Reduction. The second amendment moves another $4 million from the DEA to a program to reduce the country's backlog in processing rape test kits. The third amendment takes $9 million from the DEA to outfit police with body cameras. According to Bill Piper, Director of National Affairs for the Drug Policy Alliance, these votes are evidence for the unprecedented support on both sides of the aisle for ending the federal war on marijuana and letting states set their own drug policies based on science, compassion, health, and human rights. The more the DEA blocks sensible reforms, the more they will see their agency's power and budget come under deeper scrutiny.